There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it so very much out of the way to hear the rabbit say to itself, oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. When she thought it over afterwards, it occurred to her she ought to have wondered at this, but at the time, it all seemed quite natural. By the shores of Gitchigumi, by the shining big sea water, stood the wigwam of Nokomis, daughter of the moon, Nokomis. Dark before it rose the forest, rose the black and gloomy pine trees, rose the firs with cones upon them. Bright before it beat the water, beat the clear and sunny water, beat the shining big sea water. The clapping stopped suddenly, as if countless mothers had rushed to their nurseries to see what on earth was happening. But already Tink was saved. First her voice grew strong, then she popped out of bed, then she was flashing through the room, more merry and impudent than ever. She never thought of thanking those who believed, but she would have liked to get at the ones who had hissed. But Sam was now sorrowful at heart, and it seemed to him that if the parting would be bitter, more grievous still would be the long road home alone. But even as they stood there and the elves were going abroad, and all was being made ready to depart, up rode Merry and Pippin in great haste. And amid his tears, Pippin laughed. You tried to give us a slip once before and failed, Frodo, he said. Mm -hmm.